In this lesson, we are going to see how to differentiate product of two terms. Consider this example. y is equal to x power 5 into x cube plus 4. Our aim is to find dy by dx, which means you have to differentiate this function with respect to x. If you observe the right side, it's x power 5 times x cube plus 4, which means x power 5 is the first term and x cube plus 4 is the second term. These two are in the form of multiplication. So, how to differentiate this? This is an algebraic expression only. In this case, you can multiply these terms and express in the form of addition or subtraction. Right? x power 5 times x cube plus 4 times x power 5 which is x power 8 plus 4 x power 5 so now the product of two terms question we convert in the form of addition of two terms now you can differentiate normally dy by dx is 8x to the power of 8 minus 1 plus 4 times 5 into x to the power of 5 minus 1 that is 8x to the power of 7 plus 20 times x to the power of 4. Consider the algebraic expression y is equal to x plus 4 times x cubed minus 5. Here same thing, here there are two terms in the form of multiplication. Here, multiplication is possible. You can multiply and express in the form of addition or subtraction. So, use distributive property x times x cube minus 5 plus 4 times x cube minus 5, which is x power 4 minus 5x plus 4x cube minus 20. I'll rearrange this in descending powers of x. Now it is ready for differentiation because the terms are in the form of addition and subtraction. So dy by dx is x power 4 differentiation is 4x cube plus 4 times 3x power 2 minus 5 into x differentiation is 1 and minus 20 differentiation is 0. So it is 4x cube plus 12x square minus 5. Whereas some expressions you cannot multiply and make it in the form of addition or subtraction. So in those problems this technique won't work. So you need to uh, use product rule for that differentiation. The product rule. Let's consider two functions u and v. u is function of x and v also function of x. If u and v are in multiplication, means the product of two terms, how to differentiate? Keep the first term as it is and differentiate the second with respect to x plus keep the second term as it is, differentiate the first. The rule is at a time you can differentiate only one term. So the other term you have to keep as it is. You cannot differentiate two terms together. So keep the first term u as it is and differentiate second. That is the v term you have to differentiate which become dv by dx plus keep v as it is and differentiate the first term that is du by dx. In case if there are three terms, say u into v into w. The working rule is same. At a time, you can differentiate one term only. So the remaining two terms you have to keep as it is. Let's uh, differentiate from the last term. So u and v you have to keep as it is. And differentiation of w, we can write w dash. Plus now we have differentiated the last term. Now we'll work on differentiation of the second last. For that, you have to keep the first and last term as it is. 
differentiate the second one plus v into w and differentiation of the first you see this at a time you can differentiate only one term so the remaining two terms you have to keep as it is because there are three terms in this so again coming back to this differentiation of u into v is keep the first term as it is differentiate the second plus keep the second term as it is differentiate first let's solve some problems consider the question d by dx of x power 5 times sin x the previous two examples both the terms were algebraic expression here one is x power 5 which is in the form of algebraic and the other is a trigonometric term now you cannot multiply and make in the form of addition or subtraction so let's use the product rule the product rule says keep the first term as it is and differentiate the second which is d by dx of sin x plus keep the second term as it is and differentiate the first which is x power 5 and we know very well differentiation of sin x is cos x plus keep sin x as it is differentiation of x power 5 is 5 x to the power of 4 now what are the terms you can take common out from this here x power 5 and here x power 4 so you can take x power 4 common out which becomes x into cos x plus 5 into sin x let's try the second example y is equal to e power x times sin x dy by dx here this is the first term and this is second term you have to keep the first term as it is and differentiate second d by dx of sin x plus keep the second term as it is and differentiate the first which is e power x times sin x differentiation is cos x plus sin x times e power x differentiation is e power x in both the terms e power x is there so you can take e power x common out and the answer is cos x plus sin x the next question f of x is equal to ln of x into x to the power of 10 <coughs> how to differentiate here it is given the form of f so the differentiation of f you can represent as f dash of x f dash of x equal to keep ln x the first term as it is and differentiate the second plus keep the second term as it is and differentiate first So it is ln x times x power 10 differentiation is 10x to the power of 9 plus x power 10 times ln x differentiation is 1 upon x. On simplifying, it becomes 10x to the power of 9 ln x plus. You can simplify this. This becomes x power 9. So we can take x power 9, the common term, out. Become 10 ln x. Plus one. Let's do one last example. Let's do one last example. Y is equal to x power five times e power x times ln x. How to differentiate this? Here there are three terms, like u into v into w. So what we are going to do? Keep the first two two terms as it is, and we can't do anything, and differentiate the second the last term. And first and last term you have to keep as it is, and differentiate the second, and the same way for the third. Here, dy by dx is equal to keep x power phi and e power x as it is. You can differentiate. ln x at a time you can differentiate one term only plus 
Now x power 5 and ln x keep as it is and differentiate e power x plus the third term is keep e power x and ln x as it is and differentiate x power 5. Now it is complete. How to simplify? x power 5 into e power x ln x differentiation is 1 upon x plus x power 5 ln x e power x differentiation is e power x plus e power x ln x times x power 5 differentiation is 5 x to the power of 4. On simplifying this become x power 4 e power x plus x power 5 ln x e power x plus 5 x power 4 ln x e power x. You can take x power 4 common out from all the three terms which is e power x plus x times ln x into e power x plus 5 ln x e power x. So this is what product of two terms or three terms differentiation rule. You can find practice worksheet for this lesson in mathlaureate.com. Thanks for watching.